All right, Elizabeth Pelton completed your second time through the NCAAs, and it's much different than what it was last year. How are you feeling now that it's all over? Um, I don't know. I'd say it's definitely a roller coaster of a meet. Um, I think this whole season has definitely not been as easy as freshman year. I think everything was nice and new, and I had a new perspective, and now this is the second time around. Um, I honestly, I think it was a working meet, but I think that things are going to pay off really well this summer. What do you mean a working meet? Uh, it definitely just wasn't easy. Um, prelims never really felt easy, and finals, I was, I don't know, just it wasn't, it wasn't coming <laughs> this weekend. Last year at NCAAs, the meet overall was one of the slower meets, but you were one of the swimmers that really came out on top. You broke the American record in the 200 backstroke, and you just looked strong. This meet, we're seeing a different Elizabeth Pelton. Everybody wants to know specifically where what's been happening the last year. You said it's been a dif it's been a difficult transition. Um, what's changed? Um, I think I well, we really killed it this season. I mean, I think that this is harder than I've ever worked. Um, I think that it's going to come. It's going to pay off in the uh, in the summer. Um, I just think that things didn't really fall into place in March, which is, mm -hmm. it's fine with me. <laughs> and you seem okay with that. So the plans moving forward, you're going yeah. full into your, your goal is more 2016 than necessarily college 2014. It is. Yeah. Um, I mean, I absolutely love college swimming. Um, but I mean, I think that's, that's what I have to deal with is heading into the summer. Just kind of, it is what it is for this season. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your 200 back. I mean, here you and Courtney <laughs> Bartholomew are neck and neck. You guys come down and you look up, and Snodgrass is taking it. What uh, I know, you guys, you and Courtney shared some some moments, you know, talking about that. What what was that like? Yeah, I think we both thought that we were just racing against each other, and I honestly didn't even see uh, over. I think it was lane two. Uh, however, I should have looked over. Um, it, it was kind of like a funny, like, wow, okay, she just won. Uh, but props to her. That was an amazing race. <laughs> You're a veteran. Could you tell in that race that did that feel like a 150? <laughs> you know, no. For the effort, I really didn't think that it was 150. But I've kind of been feeling off for a few weeks now, um, so it was just my best effort with not my best performances. All right, this whole backstroke backstroking group is all sophomores now. You've had a whole another year with everybody. Oh, I mean, now that you've been, you know, two years into it, what is it like being a part of this sophomore group? Oh, uh, it's awesome. Just Boots and I, and now we have Missy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, didn't, I don't think it looked, it came out as we wanted or other people expected, but I wouldn't trade any of it. What types of things has, has your coach, Terry, been telling you guys after each night, since it hasn't been going your way, it's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster for you guys. What is she telling you at the end of each night to really lift you up and get you through day three? Um, I think that you can never really plan how things are going to go. Uh, just one session at a time, to be honest. And I think that just, I don't know, you learn the most from stuff like this. And I think that karma will work its magic in the future for us. You said you've been training harder. So what does that mean? Does that does that mean harder sets, longer sets, uh, more weight room? Uh, yeah, What's definitely more weight room. I think that just my focus. Uh, I mean, last year school was new and I had new friends and fit setting my new footing all around campus, um, but now I'm comfortable and I just, I can focus all in on swimming. Uh, I don't know, just different, different year and just a different path. Were you training faster in the pool this year than last year? Um, I think so. I was really, I think my turns and underwaters have been really feeling good. Um, yeah. How about balancing academics your second year now? With, with the Cal Heavy workload, how has that been managing that with, with the heavy swimming training? Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, we're full-time uh, athletes is one, uh, but both people also forget that we're in probably one of the hardest schools in the country. Uh, I think it's a daily, uh, not struggle, but it's right. constantly challenging. Yeah, so you can never really let up. But I wouldn't have it any other way. So how's the morale of Cal now that the meet's over, third place finish? How's the team out on the pool deck? Uh... I think, I mean, I don't know, this team, the, I don't know, kind of the mantra of the season has been kind of struggle. I mean, Pac-12s, we got DQ'd, but we came back up and still won. Uh, we've had some hard dual meets, but I don't know. I think, I think that we'll be fine. Positive moving forward. Yeah. Good job this weekend. Thank you.